what it look like tv we back thank you for joining us you know how we do we find you them crazy stories from around the web we got another one this one right here shows the importance of reading your contracts the more money you spend the longer and the harder you got to read them contracts you got to look for the fine print but let's see what's going on First, the family home that looks more like a doll's house. Vishnu says he signed up for a freestanding home bought off the plan, but admits he didn't monitor the construction process. Here's what he ended up with. Solid brick with a tiled roof and a picture-perfect design. This looks like the dream family property, but that's only half the story. Where is the rest of my house? Vishnu paid $700,000 and says he only got half a home. $700,000. Let me say it again for you. He paid $700,000 for a half a house. And the neighborhood don't even look all that good. I guess it wasn't nobody to buy the other half. So they just sold him his half and left him there, <laughs> looking stupid. And the 10, 10 year savings we put into the home. This is the story of a family's off the plan disaster and a warning for anybody building a home. English is Vishnu's second language. He came to Australia from Nepal with the intention of starting a family and beginning a new life. Now the father of two feels he's taken 10 steps backwards. Vishnu, this is the house you thought you were getting. Yeah, that's right. A freestanding house. Yep. It's not what you had. No. It's not a freestanding house. It's not a duplex now. It's half a house, yeah. And uh, it looks uh, embarrassing if you... Vishnu's English isn't perfect, but he says he didn't sign up for this great dividing wall. So how did you end up in this situation? Uh, they were promising us uh, the house will be ready in one year time, but we had to wait for three long years. But when we come to visit to see the progress of the building, uh, we see our building was uh, different than what we were expecting. And I call uh, one of their supervisor. So in other words, long story short, because my man taking long to get to the point, he said his English was bad. They couldn't find somebody to buy the other half of the house. So they just built him half a house. They wasn't going to build it and wait until maybe they could find a buyer later. Nope. And I bet you when they find a buyer for that plot of land in a couple years, they're going to come build a, another half a house on his house. With all that noise and commotion, he ain't going to be able to do a thing about it. Watch. I wish we can get an update on this. And ask him what's going on, why is this house like this? And he, called, he told me that it's a duplex, semi-duplex. And uh, I, was ne I nearly fainted that day. On the 22nd of September 2016, Vishnu entered into a home building agreement with Zach Holmes. The build with Zach Holmes was for $322,400 on top of a separate land purchase for $398,950. And this is the house all parties agreed Vishnu would get. But between then and the time construction began, the plans changed. According to Zach Holmes, Liverpool Council required Vishnu's lot to be an attached dwelling. In a legal letter to a current affair, Zach Holmes states Vishnu was made aware and had the chance to pull out more than once. Vishnu has a different version of events and says he trusted the process. When Bank asked me a final plan, I called them and can you please send me the plan? And uh, I forwarded the plan to the bank. I didn't even look. Ah, that's where you played yourself at. You forwarding stuff to the bank and you not even looking. 
as soon as they got fishy with you on the contracts and uh, they can't do it like this and they can't do it like that for seven hundred thousand, you you're supposed to pull back and look somebody look somewhere else man i'm feeling sorry for you but you set yourself up for them to get you like this man half a duplex Zach Holmes builds custom design homes and is one of the many go-to builders in Vishnu South. Oh, they built him a custom design home, I stopped by Zach's headquarters to try and get to the bottom of this saga. Zach Holmes' slogan is a home as individual as you. Well, Vishnu's sure got an individual home. Hi there. Hello. We've been contacted by a customer of yours who paid for a freestanding home. This is the contract that he signed and this is the image he thought he was getting and... He got half a semi. Okay, um, do you mind if I take that? I'll, I'll be right yeah, back. Yeah, sure. So we waited and waited, but nobody returned. A quick drive around Vishnu's neighbourhood and we found more homes just like his, although they appear to be unoccupied. Mohammed, you live next door to half a house. How do you think it looks? Um, actually looks quite ugly. Um, yeah, it sort of takes away all the sunlight from my house as well. So they got empty half houses? Oh, I can't understand what Zach doing. Zach Holmes. He's living in it without an occupation certificate. Zach Holmes claims it's done everything required to obtain an occupation certificate and has been trying to get it signed off for nine months. The company says the certifier and the council are at an impasse. They want to guarantee the other half of the duplex will be completed. We told you in because uh, during the corona what did i tell y'all what did i tell y'all i told y'all he got a half a house because nobody wanted to buy the, the lot next door yet when somebody buys the lot next door he'll get the other half of the house and the house will look normal told you it was all about money they want some guaranteed money before they build the house uh, my wife, you gonna get screwed she, she in the meantime, baby. buddy, till we find somebody to pony up that money. Work, you know, we're in really hard situation, and uh, we just need to go and find a place to live in because we didn't have a place. And as the situation drags on, not even Vishnu's many motivational posters can lift his spirits. Has it been joyous for you, living here, this honestly, entire situation? Honestly, not. The land will go up in value, but I believe the actual home will depreciate. It might get to the point that the house is actually a liability and it will cost money to take the house down um, for someone to buy the block of land and build a proper freestanding house with windows. Property expert Michael Pallier. Buying and building a home is possibly the biggest decision, financial decision anyone can make in their lifetime. I would just recommend that people have a good solicitor to check all of the documentation before they sign it. and. Go and watch the house get built and make sure that if any changes are being made that you're aware of them. It is a, a painful situation. Vishnu says... That is a good point. The whole time you knew you had a house being built and you never actually went to the lot and checked the house out while it was being built. You're supposed to catch this way early on. Like, yo, where the other half at? The more and more this story go on, at first I was upset at the bank, but now, to be honest, I'm not sure, man. You dropped the ball in a lot of situations. You in a bad situation, but you dropped the ball in a lot of situations, man. A lot of them. But he deserves to go through the drama his family has. Not even half of it. So I want to raise awareness so other All these half can get jokes. into my situation. I want the rest of my house. You can read a statement from Zach Holmes. On we don't need to hear nothing else from Zach Holmes. We know what they're doing. And on that note, make sure you read all your contracts, man. Read all your contracts. Don't let these people get you. When you're spending big money like 700000 be on top of it. Thanks for watching. If you made it this far, I really appreciate you. Please give me a like and a subscribe. Turn on them notifications. What it look like TV. I will see you on the next one. Appreciate you.